Hey everybody, this is Nikki and I'm here to do a quick video uh, that is going to be a demonstration on popping out my 8H G6 transmitter so I can restart it. Um, this is not anything official, it's not medical advice and in fact I'm going to try to do this quickly and I'm doing it today. You know, feel very pressed to do something today and that is because this is officially my third restart on this sensor. Um, so that's really cool and this is the first time, this is the first sensor I've gotten to go this long and I was getting ready to restart it today anyway. Um, and because I have, because I've heard from a couple of different people that guitar picks are an easy way to pop out the transmitter, um, I figured I'll show how easy, um, which means it won't come out, but that's, that's how it goes. Okay, so um, as I said, this is an 8H transmitter. They don't all require this process. Um, anything prior to 8G, I think, are the ones that used to do a no code, you know, restart and everything else. Um, this restart for the for my 8H and I think pretty much everything after that has been fairly consistent in that you need to pop out your transmitter, uh, make sure your sensor is stopped, and leave the transmitter out of the cradle for at least 10 minutes. Um, I do 20 minutes consistently. That works out just fine. I've heard of people doing as little as 5 minutes. Um, I haven't tried it so I don't know, but my guess is 10 or 15 minutes is probably is adequate. Um, but to be safe, I do 20 minutes. So this does require popping out the transmitter, leaving it out of the cradle, and then after that time, whatever you do, 10 to 20 minutes, um, just starting a new sensor and entering your old code for that sensor. Um, so I will not do any more talking, I'll just do it. Okay, um, as request, as suggested, I did purchase guitar picks off of Amazon it was an assortment, you know, um, there's a whole bunch of different thicknesses. I don't know which one is which, I just grabbed two. And I hope this works. Um, people do it with test strips. I have a really hard time doing it because I'm doing it by myself. I've had a really hard time doing it with test strips. Um, but I have found that jamming, I know someone's gonna freak out about it and say you're not supposed to do that. Um, I'm just trying to put them down into the two side spots. <laughs> and there you have it. So I'll go over there and pick it up right now. <laughs> but um, but that is how easy, and I'm by myself. And I went through a few sensors. Like let's say there was at least four sensors where I went through trying to find the right location where I could put the sensor in get the really good full 10 days on it, um, but also have it be something firm enough and accessible so that I could pop it out on my own and not need somebody else to do it. And that was actually a little bit challenging. Um, so I was thrilled to be able to go back to the back of my arm, which is my greatest location, um, and be able to do, and be able to be self-sufficient and do it all by myself. Um, so. Anyway, that is my 8H popping uh, demonstration and this said replace new sensor. And what I will do is I will come back to this. Um, I'll set my timer, because I do believe in the timer. Um, I'll set my timer for 10 minutes today. Um, and, and in 10 minutes, I'll come back and I'll fish out my old code and restart using that. Um, and, just, and just start it up as, as, a, as a new sensor. Um, as far as codes, I'll just throw this in because it was something I'd recently come across. Um, so many of the codes on the G6 seem to be replicated. You know, so for instance, 9311 is the one I'm using now. Um, but I see that over and over and over again. And so there had been a question about whether or not, you know, if they keep putting out the same code, how do they expect you, like, why would they expect you to need a new code in order to restart? Um, and I would like to say, that what I just read um, a few days ago is that they actually don't need the exact code, so you technically can make up a code and go with it. Um, I've never done it. I, it would be an interesting experiment. Um, I, I prefer just to use the code that I know I'm supposed to be using, but supposedly the only thing that might suffer is accuracy. Um, and with my own little experiments, where I'm supposed to be entering a code, I've been entering a calibration twice a day, 
um, when I was back restarting the other ones and I, and I was experimenting to see what would happen if I did the no code option and you know, was requesting calibrations twice a day, I found that even though they were being requested, accuracy wasn't you know, affected at all for 10 days if I never calibrated once. Um, so it would be interesting to see whether or not just making up a code, I would do it now, but I'm on day 30 of my this and I'm very excited, so I won't, I won't cross um, experiment, but it would be interesting to see whether or not making up a code really did have any effect on accuracy. Anyway, five and a half minutes, I managed to turn this into using 30 seconds of material. I hope everyone has a great day. I hope everyone's being safe. And I'm coming back to talk about a couple different videos so I can disappear again for a year. Okay. Thanks. Bye.